Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you the various ways to restart an AWS EC2 instance. So, not to waste much time, I'll be going into my AWS account now. I'm going to show you the various ways you can restart your EC2 instance. So, this is my EC2 dashboard. You can see we have one instance is running. Then let me open. Let's open the instance. So this is my. This is one instance that is running. So um, what we are going to do now? This is the console. So on the console, you we see. Can you see stop instance, start instance, reboot instance? So this is what we want to make use of reboot instance. So for you to activate this button, just select your instance. Once you select it, then you will see reboot here. It's currently running. The instance is running. So once you click reboot instance and click reboot, you will see a message at the top here saying successfully rebooted. Your, this is your instance ID. So that is one way you can um, reboot your instance or restart your EC2 instance. Another way you can do that is um, making use of the um, the CLI, AWS CLI. So let's just um, go into, you can type CLI here. Which is also cloud share. Just click on it. Once you click on it, you will see the CLI opened up. Let's close this. So it's loading it. It's preparing a terminal. So our terminal is up now. So once it is up, um, just enter this. This is what we need. This command. Sorry. So let me try to paste. paste it. Okay. Um, I need to. Let me exit. Okay. Let me do this. So um, I don't know why I'm saying this. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I was supposed to change. Okay, let me just let me enter. Let me confirm. I, I didn't know that I've not changed the I've not inserted the instance ID. So the instance ID, let's confirm the instance ID. Uh I need to let me just let's go back. So let's check for the instance ID. So select the instance, then you will see this is the instance ID. So let's just copy it. So I'm going to paste it inside that command now. Let me paste it here. this so let's copy this so let's go back to the CLI
so it's already it's not going to give you any notification so immediately you insert it and you click enter your instance have uh, restarted so is 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 a straightforward thing so once you paste once you paste it and you hit the enter key is is done so paste so i'm restarting for the second time so it's done it's not going to don't expect a notification or a message so the instance uh has already been restarted or rebooted so let's go back to let me reload this page so the instance is currently running so you can use the console here also use the cli another way you can also restart or reboot your instance is using the PowerShell. So this is my PowerShell here. I've already opened it as um, admin, but you also need before you can make use of this PowerShell, you need to create a key pair. A key pair. So you need a key pair. Let's let me open this. You will see key pairs. This is it here. I already create one. I created one key pair. So this is it. And I have it downloaded on my system. This is the file here. This is the file. Techkey.pm. So what I'm going to do now is um, this is my PowerShell. I need to locate this user the location on my system then i will need to dump the key pair file into it for because i need to connect this powershell to my aws environment without that i won't be able to connect it so what i'm going to do is um let me copy this file copied it then I'm going into that um, users this is it so I'm going to paste it here so that's the file pasted so once it is pasted then let me go back to the PowerShell then you enter this command ssh then the name of the key pair so let's open it so techkey.pm that's the name so you enter it here Take key dot p e n. So that's the name. Then e c two user at ten. You also confirm your public IP. You need to confirm your public IP of your instance. So let's do that. So let's go back to DC2 uh, to the instance itself. So click it. Let's confirm the public IP. This is the public IP. So just copy it. Paste. So once it's pasted, then um, hit the enter key. So you will see this message saying, are you sure you want to continue connecting? So you want to connect to our AWS environment. It's the enter key. Oh, why right. say OS key verification field. This key. Uh, do, 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 do. 
techkey.pn as the name let's reconfirm techkey.pn yes inside users the interface so those key verification fields okay let's click yes sorry we we're supposed to type here yes there so we are here now we are inside our aws environment now so um what we need to do next now is to see if we can re restart the instance but there will still be another configuration that we need to do so let's just see if we can do that but i guarantee you that you are going to get a message so let me just um, this is let's paste this command the same command we use on our CLI let's see whether it's going to work now so it's unable to restart it so we have to configure we have to run this command aws configure first and before we run this aws configure we need to create a credential that's why it's saying unable to locate credentials so how do we create this credential it's very very necessary to make use of that whenever you want to use your uh, powershell to do anything on aws so let's go back to our AWS account um, at the top right here just click on your username the username for your account then you will see some uh, security credentials click on it it's going to load So it's under identity and access management. I am. So it's just for security purpose, for access and management, access management, I mean, identity and access management. So um, just scroll down. Scroll down, you will see, yes, this is it. We are going to create access key. A new one i created one like two days ago we are not making use of that so just click continue just click so this is the access key this is the secret access you need both keys so show i'm going to And download the CSV file. This is downloaded already. So um, now let me copy the access key first. Then I go back to the PowerShell. So now I'm going to run this command AWS configure. So click the enter key. Once is um, once you are done with that, you will see this message AWS access key ID. So just paste that uh, access key ID, copy it. Then, then it's the enter key. It's going to ask you for AWS secret access key. So go back, copy the secret access key. Once it is copied, then you paste it the enter key. Your default region name. Um, our region name is uh, I think is let's let me just confirm that 
let me just confirm that um, Our region name is uh, US East One. So, but for you to confirm properly, just go into I'm going to your EC2 as well. So this is it. this. this let's just okay. This is it. US East One. That's it highlighted. US East One. So let's just enter it. So just hit the enter key so now we've uh, we are done now we are going to paste that uh, command again this command so let's see whether it's going to run now and restart our ac2 instance now hit the enter key that's it so we get this message the system will reboot now so it's already rebooting so that is another way you can reboot your instance so i've showed you three ways now the first one is uh, using the um console using this console here this is the console so reboot reboot the second option is uh, using the CLI yeah the AWS cloud shell the third one I showed you is using the power shell so it's, it's pretty simple and very straight to the point so I know you can make use of any of these um, uh, steps to restart your EC2 I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.